becomes a song. I think it's probably where lots of songs, like old like rock and roll, like classically or like traditionally, but nobody will admit it. Comes from <laughs> it's like it's all just like it's all just like shenanigans. I think the cars, the bars, and like, yeah, it pretty much just kind of just sums it all up. It started as a joke. It started as a joke because yeah. we were like we're again we're talking about Ryan Adams, and we're like if you could sum up his whole catalog in like one line of a song, like what would it be? And it would just be like the cars, the bars, and the lights. Like that's what it all comes down to. And so we joked about it for like two or three weeks, and then one day. I was like, I was working on some stuff, and I like was working on one song, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write this song called "The Cars, the Bars, and the Lights." When you first told me that you wrote a song called "The Cars, the Bars, and the Lights," I, I just started laughing. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and it was another thing, right. like, I like the way it is. I, I like had the idea. I like sent you a text message. I'm like, yeah. I am doing this right now. <laughs> I, I picked up my guitar and just like played a couple chords and just sang like the first line. I said, "Cars, bars, and the lights," and like. Oh man, <laughs> this is about to happen right now. <laughs>